Do you have some bottles in your house and no way to open them? Tired of using your lighter and tired of breaking your teeth? Well, 3D print yourself a bottle opener. If you want to follow me along this journey, how I elevated my life by 3D printing three different types of bottle openers and testing them out for you, then follow along and stay tuned on this episode of Elevated Prints 3D. How's it going, everybody? Bob Hansen here from Elevated Prints 3D. Back at it here for another fun video for you. Um, this video is going to be a really nice, quick, easy one for you. I've got three different types of bottle openers right in front of me, and I just wanted to see if you could 3D print a bottle opener. You know, you got a little bit, you got some good force applied. It's really going to test it to see if it can hold on to an edge and then be able to apply pressure and see if it'll break off. Um, the three style of prints that I have for you right here were all downloaded from my mini factory. I'll put that link in the description below if you want to go check it out. But let's talk about these prints. So first one we'll talk about just this OG style right here. Um, good old classic looking bottle opener. You've got this end which is a little bit shorter than this end and that end is for prying open. So printed it pretty great. I did have a little bit of adhesive issues. You can see, whoop, kind of goes up a little bit. Uh, just didn't get it all printed. I just didn't have the heat temperature right. Um, I printed all these on my XYZ DaVinci 1.0A in ABS purple plastic. All of these are from the same spool as well. I wanted to make sure it was consistent so that way people online couldn't be like, you know, the blue one's technically stronger than the purple one, didn't you know? No, I don't think so. But in case that is right, we printed them all on the same ones. So, yes. The next one we have right here, this one's pretty nifty. You got this little coin that you put in here. No, you don't print it with the coin in. Now, I mean, if you want to try to, go ahead and go for it. I just don't think it'll actually print with the coin in. But this coin slides in and out. Got a, your standard US quarter right here, 25 cents. Sure will get you a lot like a gumball. But all you have to do is just slide that bad boy in there. And now you got yourself a bottle opener. I like this one because in case the plastic fails, we've got a little bit of a metal to try and help leverage that cap off. So that's pretty cool. And this last one is really just kind of a fun one I printed. It's a little shark. Whoa. <laughs> uh, this shark is pretty dope. I like how it turned out. Um, all of them I had to print with a brim so that way it would stay a little bit easier. So yeah, all the prints turned out pretty great. Um, some stepping, you can hear it. It's like a banjo. But yeah. So, they turned out pretty great. Let's get to testing these. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. I really am. So, this first one that we're gonna open up right here, we'll just do this bottle. We've got a classic beverage here that you would drink if you were an adult. And we're gonna go ahead and test out this bad boy. I'm really pumped. I, I'm excited, you know, I don't, who knows if it's gonna break or not. I mean, this is just a piece of plastic versus metal. So let's find out. Here we go. Okay, just gonna clip it up right in there. Clip it to the edge. Ooh, nervous. One, two, three. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Woohoo! This one passes. Definitely, this is awesome. I can I can imagine this be a fun little centerpiece to talk about when you're going to open up a bottle. People are going to be like, why? That's 3D printed. That's so rad. Like, yeah, it is. Mmm. My huckleberry juice. This was real good right there. All right. Well, let's test out the second one. Got some sparkling pomegranate juice. I love me some juice. And let's test out this one now. So I'll set the bottle here. Going to go. You got your coin slot there. You slide it up underneath it. I, I just love this design. I think it's so freaking cool. Okay, then you hold it, and you're gonna grip, and... <laughs> oh, man! Well... Don't use ABS, maybe? <laughs> That's so funny. 
damn, I didn't even think it was going to break there. Because there is a small crack here, and I don't remember. Wow. Hey, I honestly thought this one was going to be the best. Um. <laughs> wow. Well, I bet you can still hold on to this. And No. No. Ah. It failed. Oh, my quarter. Damn. And it broke again! Man. I don't think ABS was a good plastic to print with this. So, fail! Well, now let's see if Mr. Sharky can prove him wrong. Go with the same one, since it clearly... I mean, it, I didn't even have to apply any pressure, it just broke right away. Alright, well, up to you, Mr. Shark. Put that right in there, put that up there. One, two, three. Oh, no! Ah, it passed. Mr. Shark works. Um, you can tell right there the little tip broke off. But hey, you know, that worked. All right. We did our test. We did it very great together. And some passed, some failed. So, the two winners. We have Mr. Shark and OG. Honestly, this is probably going to be my bottle opener that I use inside my house every day. This thing is awesome. 100% recommend to download this one. Um, yeah, this is, that's freaking bad. It worked out great. It, it gripped it very easily. I even think that the little steps from the 3D printing itself made it so it grip better. Really just, boom, popped right on there. You guys saw it, it worked great. Shark, sure, keep it on your keychain. Whip it out when you need it. Um, if you don't, if it doesn't work, um, it might, might break on you. Might break in your pocket, I don't know. So this print right here didn't work out too great. Um, yeah, I, I think I maybe should have printed it in a different orientation. I think instead of printing it this way, if I would have printed it on the bed like this, I would have had to add some supports, but it would have made it so it's stronger when applying force on it instead of just separating the layers. But hey, you know what? Why don't you at home print it and show me how you can print it better? Because you're printed in PLA instead of ABS, and that'll be way better for you. Tag me on social media at Elevated Prints 3D and say, hey, Bob, look, mine didn't fail. Why did yours fail? I'm going to be like, because he printed it better than me. I'm sorry. But yeah. So, yeah. They're pretty rad. I think it all worked out pretty great. Um, thank you for checking out my channel. We're going to wrap it up right here. Um, if you did enjoy this episode, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it definitely helps me out. I'm slowly building up here as a new YouTuber. So, any subscribe works. Anytime you can share my video or like it, that also helps. Uh, yeah, if you want to, check me out on Instagram at Elevated Prince 3 d uh, Definitely a great way to see some prints that I'm posting, kind of get a little bit of a sneak peek of what's going on. I am working on setting up a Patreon, so if you do like this channel, you can get ready to start supporting this channel here soon. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate all of you out there. Don't forget to keep it groovy and keep elevating lives around you and others. Thank you. Peace.